It's been three days since I uploaded the new SFS announcement video and there have been a lot of questions and some new leaks including the price and the actual release date. So let's have a look at them. First up, Mars. We have some new screenshots and a video from Mars. Well, it's technically off Mars, not from Mars because there's no one on Mars that sent me this video. Anyway, the surface looks really detailed and personally very beautiful. We also have a couple of images of the Martian sunset which just looks spectacular. We also have a video of an astronaut on Mars. Now Steph has confirmed that this video is an older video like from early development because the sun here does not have that blue hue that we get because of Mars's atmosphere. Speaking of sunsets, we have some absolutely gorgeous screenshots of sunset at the SFS SC, the SFS Space Center, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Anyway, we have some screenshots of the Space Center and we also have some new leaks which show a runway. Now you might think that since there is a runway you can build airplanes, right? But unfortunately no, I mean you can build airplanes but they'll be the same as the planes we have in SFS right now. As in, if you are able to make wings out of structural parts, those wings won't be able to generate any lift. So you would need to add engines at the bottom of the plane to make it stay afloat. But as stated by Steph himself, the game will add procedural wings, just not in the initial release. They'll be added, but in the future updates to the game. Next, we have a look at the different parts that will be added. We have four new engines, many different fuel tanks, RCS, three capsules, a cupola, and a nose cone. We also have a video of the two capsules comparing them. Next, we have a look at the build menu and it's similar to the one we have in SFS as in the list of the parts is on the right and the shape thing is on the left. But what's new is that the build menu is now grey instead of blue and we apparently have an option to add custom colors which I find very helpful. And we can also see the staging button along with symmetry, the axis button so we can move parts precisely on just one axis if we want and an undo button. We also have confirmation from Steph that there will be bigger parts and they will be a part of a DLC which implies that SFS2 will have a similar pricing model as SFS1 as in the main game will be available for free on mobile devices but they will be paid expansion packs like right now. I suppose for the Steam version, we will have to pay the full price of the game upfront and the expansion packs in the future will be added in the game for free whenever they are available. Now before we move on to some more confirmations by Steph, here are some new screenshots from the Team Curiosity website. Okay, on to the confirmations now. First up, Steph has confirmed that SFS1 will continue to get updates. So do not worry, there will be a 1.6. Next up, SFS2 will be able to run on your devices. The team is very adamant on the optimization of this game and they have multiple devices to test this on. So do not worry, SFS2 will not set your phone on fire. Next, SFS2 will not have a full solar system when it is released, but it will be added in future updates. Right now, I believe it will only be up till Mars and its moons, and Jupiter and other planets will probably be a part of future updates or possibly an expansion pack. Next up, SFS2 will not have a navigation function like we have in SFS1 with transfer windows and the navigate to button. And that's because SFS2 will have maneuver nodes like we have in Kerbal Space Program and in Juno New Origins. And now, the biggest reveal. The release date. Steph has said that the team has been working on SFS2 for almost one and a half years and the trailer will be released in a few days. But the game is not yet finished and it will be released in about six months from now. Yeah, six months. That's a long time. So don't get your hopes up right now. Have fun with SFS1. Oh, that rhymed. Have fun with SFS1. Ta -na -ta -na 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 -na. <laughs> and while you're having fun with SFS1, maybe subscribe and like this video. If anything new comes up about this, you can be sure that I will let you know. 
So I'll see you in the next one then. Bye.